The other problem that can happen is delamination. What's delamination? Yeah, where the primary and the secondary backing come apart. There are two backings in carpet, normal. Unless it's attached to cushion, some of those. Your primary backing, when I pass to give this to you, their primary backing is woven, typically made out of olefin. It's what the loops are formed in. Then a latex is applied. Glorified Elmer's glue mixed with clay. I call it pulverized marble, but it's clay. What is clay? How, how expensive do you suppose clay is? It's cheap. So, so to save money, how would have one of the, what could be one of the ways that mail could save money? Put in more clay. Cut down on the latex. Then your secondary backing <coughs> is applied. Typically today, that's also olefin. These go through what's called a marriage roller, where they're squeezed together to put them together and then into a curing oven so that the latex is dried off and cured, etc. Delamination is where these two come apart. There are a lot of ways this can happen. Number one, it could be the mill's fault. They extended the, you know, they tried to cheapen it too far. Number two, it can happen because it got wet, in other words, there was a flood, something like that, and rather than correcting the problem right away and keeping people on it, you had a thousand people walking up and down it all day while it's still wet. And of course, while it's still wet, what's the latex like? It's barely holding on and the carpet is shifting and then it dries. And so it may re-adhere wrong and you will have ripples, which is caused by the delamination. Another cause for that would be, and especially that rippling as well, might be from in a school, places like that, where you have very heavy carts on wheels, and you're moving them down the hall. You have a lot of lateral force, and if that glue isn't holding well, and it pops loose, you could have a problem. You can also cause delamination. If you use a very strong spotting agent, and pour it directly onto the carpet and it gets down into the backing, do you suppose that might dissolve or soften the latex? Yes. Then every now and then you'll see where some carpet cleaner has taken like our product safety solvent, dry bottle solvent, pretty potent stuff, and just poured it onto the carpet. Boy, this is really greasy. Glug, glug. Onto it. And he blots it. And as he's walking away from it, you can see it swell up. And the only way of curing that is to get it dried out well and with a hypodermic needle get some get some glue down in there and put a weight on it to re-glue it into place. So you yourselves can do that. 